start somewhere, and we gotta get the business out of the way first. I actually wrote your stuff down. Grown, grown dad business, right? Yeah, dude. Okay. Yeah. I was afraid I was gonna. When I do introductions, I'm always afraid I'm gonna stumble on something because I usually do. <laughs> so, all right, guys, here we go. It's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast, episode 463. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the wonderful Sorgatron Media Studios in Beachview, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. And we got a full freaking house mm-hmm. with us today. We're on a Tuesday. I'm not in Myrtle Beach. We're not somewhere <laughs> else recording another podcast. It's not Wednesday. This is back to normal back to full force and holy crap and we have kittens we'll get to that in a moment <laughs> but first john chichilla is with us he is a gadget guru over at big bank uh international esquire and i just realized my donut my uh, neck donut is like behind you on the couch for some reason <laughs> <laughs> i can take a nap it's very it's very handy it's like when being on a flight it's very handy on a nine-hour car ride or a flight yeah so if you know if you ever want to doze off and not have a kink in your neck you're good to go chiller right I am definitely good to go. And it's good to be back. I feel like I've not been here forever. In like three weeks. It's been like three weeks. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you got plenty of things to, to say about a um, the, the lot of apple things. And I know there's okay. a lot of other announcements happening. Also back with us is Katie, the Dutters. She brought I, cats. I got, oh, geez. Wait, oh, oh geez. yeah, we'll wait. If you... What? We've actually interrupted uh, Kitten Cam for our show. Yes, we interrupted Kitten Cam. <laughs> Kitten Cam has been running on the Sorgatron media feeds all day long. <laughs> like six hours. And to the point where at least uh, two pro wrestlers have come in to play with the kittens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, And are probably going to be adopting them when they're of age. Babies. Uh, yes. Uh, Katie, of course, is in full swing with uh, uh, Scarehouse Enterprises. I mean, I did... <laughs> What what do you call it at this point? Because it's just know. a mass thing with the basement and the and the and the escape rooms and everything. And zombie dens and open. Zombie today. dens open today. Yeah. So like it's not Drink just scarehouse. It's like scarehouse. I almost call it Enterprises Esquire, but uh. well, everybody like oh, scarehouse. You know the main attractions moving. You don't. It's gonna be less busy now than it ever has been. And it's like I feel like we're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's just that, that huge reminder of like, hey, we are everywhere, and we're over here, and we're not where you expected us to be from last year. Yeah, surprise. So it is that little. I just show up everywhere. Hi. So <laughs> that's good. Everything's going good there. We'll talk a little bit later in the show yeah. about what is happening, what's upcoming with the basement. But it sounds like things are really. Yeah, I, I just saw the story last night of um the 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 chapstick came in yes oh Chap- my gosh 2019 chapstick is in the house i'm still uh, working on my 2017 chapstick uh in my book bag to honestly <laughs> i it, i think that's just like such a me thing to this chapstick this year is like <laughs> totally Hugging the giant bag of chapstick <laughs> is I quite had, a sight yeah i had to go down to fedex to pick it up and it was like a th- it's literally this is a box of what a thousand chapsticks look like <laughs> I would be nervous. Like, what if it got? What if it got all melty and shipping? Yeah, I don't Ooh, know. Oh yeah, I, like, I think they've gotten melty and reformulated before because <laughs> I'm sure they? it's been a few times that I've. <laughs> That's why they're in the tube, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's got a little top on them. Magic. Hey, there's somebody else here too. What? Aaron Clobber <laughs> is with us. He is. Wait, I got all my notes. Dad, actor, comedian, and he uh, does the Grown Dad Business Podcast. Yeah. Hey, welcome. I want to so, see a thousand chapsticks. <laughs> so, so you act like a dad? Uh, You're a dad <laughs> actor? Wait. That is a great point. No one's ever pointed that out, which is, yes, true. I'm a dad actor and comedian. I pretend that I'm a dad, first of all, and I pretend I have three kids. Wouldn't that be crazy if I did do that? <laughs> so you're a doctor. That'd be, that'd, be a, that'd, be, that'd be another level past Larry the Cable Guy. That like a- That would be... Like some people, like when you perform, people will go, oh my God, do you really have three kids? And you're like, why would I make that up? <laughs> oh no, I was single, had my own house and my own Listen, income is, that nobody touched. And I, you know, this is a long a, play for me. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I'm playing the long game. That's, That's right. Like, this, is, this is a career maker, yeah. whether I like it or not. Maybe it's, it's my priorities, you know, dad, actor, comedian, I guess. No, okay. I don't care about being an actor. I just show up. I don't know what happens. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, dude. Finally. I love it. First time, long time. I know you email. I was like, hey, I've been, I, I've been listening to the show. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, come on on. No, I literally <laughs> like, I want to ask you questions about cameras and wires. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to come. The, yeah, I want to come play. on. <laughs> that, means, that means you want to be on the show because yeah, sure. yeah, that's yeah. what we do. Yeah, I'll come hang that's out in Brookline whenever do. you want. This and then you got, you got optimists behind you like 
ready to fist bump you off the camera. <laughs> Optimus <laughs> Mr. T over here. Yes. <laughs> I, love it. I love that Doogie chain. It looks good. Um, anyways, this is The Awesome Cast. If you're a first time, you can check out everything at awesomecast.com. Email us, awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. Tweet us, awesomecast, and the Facebook page for Awesome Cast. And also, please follow us on the Facebook group. A lot of uh, stories come from there. We share a lot of things throughout the week and get some commentary from you guys. That informs a lot that happens on this show. You can subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast app and watch video versions on Facebook and YouTube and also a reminder because it is 2019 <laughs> and things are listening you can ask your uh, Google Home your uh, 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 Amazon Echo I almost said it uh, or that Apple device to play the Awesome Cast podcast you may have to connect a tune in account or something to do that but it's a nice easy way when you wake up on that Wednesday morning that a fresh new Awesome Cast has hit the internet and you can say hey mm-hmm Play me some awesome cast so I have a good day. Uh, also, we are here live every Tuesday, I swear, for at least for a little bit, uh, at the Awesome Cast Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you catch us later on one of our out- other outlets, because we are also streaming out there on uh, Twitch and Twitter and things like that, uh, you can uh, hit us up on Twitter at Awesome Cast and hashtag the show, hashtag AC463. Three. Thank you to our streaming partners, our friends over at riversedgepgh.com, the405media.com. Please uh, go check your local listings over there for when we are they are replaying our show. And also, uh, shout-outs to our friends at Post Industrial Audio, postindustrial.com, and actually Matt Stroud from Post Industrial. Um, if you've been hearing the ads, I know we had a couple before this show. If you're listening to this afterwards, um, they've been uh, helping us out uh, with that and, and uh, uh, including us in their newsletter and their website uh, as part of uh, Post Industrial Audio. And they got a great podcast of their own, too, for uh, Pittsburgh-related things. We'll talk about Matt about that uh, in a few weeks uh, more in depth. Also, thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesome cast our friends at the coffee club five dollar level matt weller john diggy DeGore, and john carmen and our longest running patreon supporter at the dollar level michael fedor thank you so much you guys can support the show too if you if you're digging it and want to help the awesome get bigger at patreon.com slash awesome cast so now is time for our awesome thing of the week and just kind of looking ahead <laughs> at what's going on and uh, Katie, well, we mentioned it briefly before, but let's just go ahead and talk about Kitty Cam for a kitty moment. Cam. You okay. got Kitty Cam? Wait, wait, you gonna go bring the kitties? Oh wait, wait, she's got she's got visual aids over here. Well, hopefully audible aids too uh, in the long run. We'll see how this works out here. I don't know. She's she's going off camera for you guys, and she brings back a fuzzy little friend. Hi, dude. There he is. Oh yeah, <laughs> I picked a, I picked here. a loud one. There you go. You picked a loud one. Don't squeeze it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, so uh, uh, Katie brought some fr- some furry friends over. Just a over. bin of kittens. Just, just a bin of kittens. <laughs> so I get in the office and they're like, "Hey, we should put it online." Yep. So you streamed my kittens all day. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. They. Uh, so I have seven little buddies, Miles and her seven little buddies. Um, she was a stray that adopted us, and uh, yeah. So now we have her kitties and her family, <laughs> and she's a very good mom. She's let everybody who's come by today play with the kitties, which I was very impressed a with. A lot of people stopped by today. Yeah, they're like, "Can I come in?" They, it was like kitten therapy. They're like, "Yeah, it was kitten therapy." There's, you know, so at least that's a thing. At least mm-hmm. two of the people oh, yeah. came over were like, "I really needed this today." Oh yeah, yeah. right. Like yeah. that was really awesome. That's nice, but I <laughs> want to know the psychopath that watched for six hours straight. Was there one viewer that <laughs> never left? <laughs> it might have been a. T- Toddler, because I know my three-year-old would sit there and watch kittens for six hours. Yeah, like Put it on your YouTube channel and be like kittens and stuff, and I bet you get a lot of. Viewers oh yeah, on your six yeah. hours of kittens. Yeah. Do you know how many YouTube? I bet you there's because there are there are many videos that are six hours of something. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you whenever went mm-hmm. down that rabbit hole, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're like, wow, I could watch a pencil get sharpened all the way to the eraser, um, <laughs> or like something amazing. like that, they're, or, they're, or something to put on like in the background, right? Yeah, like, I think I there's like, a, that's kind of a thing. You think there's a kitten pen on YouTube? A kitten pen? Yeah, kitten pen. Kitten pen. Six hours of a kitten pen. Oh, we had some other ideas of the, the kitten pen. We were like maybe uh, we need to get like a toy uh, uh, WWE Hell in a Cell and have like you yes. know, wrestling yes. pre shows like uh, you know totally kitty okay. You should have had the kittens in that little Hell in the Cell. 
yeah. the little toy one. Well, we need to address our friend that his kid has the hell in the cell and yeah. see if uh, gets clearances from the parents or when the cat's trying to get away. What's happening? No, she's they're just looking. What's going just, on? Just guys? looking. What's going on? So uh, yeah, we had so we had this bin. And we even had like oh, we had a batch of kids came in, come in oh, uh, nice. uh, about nice. an hour ago too. Uh, so <laughs> we we had this running um, over there on, on a few of our feeds and a little bit of preview that's still over <laughs> there on the awesome cast if you want to see. Uh, feeding time apparently it was yeah. so <laughs> well I, I mean i was talking about starting a cat cafe i have a keurig and seven kittens i mean <laughs> i pretty much have a cat you gotta, cafe that's, that is a cat cafe starter kit i think so I think. <laughs> because yeah. you don't need to have good awesome coffee you just have to have the cats yeah mm-hmm. i mean that's that's the kind of thing you can have mcdonald's coffee yeah. and uh you know, you're get good to go. Get a box of coffee from somewhere. And <laughs> get a box of kittens. coffee and go. What a, what a way to start the day, <laughs> right? Just come, into, come in and get coffee and then play with kittens. Play with That's cats a, that you don't have to clean up after. It's amazing. Yeah, nice. You know, it's like. We're not at the pooping stage yet, so this is exciting. So there's oh, definitely good. a place like that in like New York City. There's got to be a place where you can just go. I mean, they have like hugging places, mm-hmm. right? I, they have like places where you can go take a nap with a stranger. This is the, oh yeah, oh, right. The, cuddle, like the professional the cuddle colors, place. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've never heard. This you, is really well. You've never heard of the professional yeah. colors, yeah. No. Oh, you need to explore that. Like you, you need, need to get on the internet. <laughs> you you need to go internet that right <laughs> later. Uh, so, uh, hey, Chilla, what's your awesome thing? That so, uh, before you figure out what colors are, and that becomes your awesome thing. So my my awesome thing, and I. I have a runner-up, but we can cover that much later in the show. Um, Ooh, sorry. Amazon announced today that they're working with at least 30 other companies to improve how voice assistants work together. Mm -hmm. So they've enlisted the companies like BMW, Bose, Ecobee, Microsoft, Salesforce, Sonos, Spotify, Harman, like Harman Kardon. They believe that multiple voice assistants should be able to cohabitate on the same device hmm. so oh. uh, imagine a that sounds creepy a single speaker type device or i think of this even as your laptop right mm-hmm. if i could put a train okay you know who <laughs> i love how we dance around this now <laughs> um apple's person <laughs> like if you could have all of them on one device and just call them out by name, mm-hmm. you wouldn't have to worry about which service and which device or, and you wouldn't have an area like in my house where you have the echo sitting next to the Apple device sitting next to. The Are you Google not allowed home. to say that? Am I missing something? If, if, I was about if, to we, say if, if we say him, like if somebody's listening on a speaker or on oh, the speaker, yes. it can activate it. You're like, right. We yeah, have yeah, a, yes. we have a pro wrestler named Bliss, <laughs> and it sometimes even activates our own one over yes. there across the studio. The interesting thing would be is if you could get so for commercials, like when you watch a commercial on TV, yeah. the reason it doesn't set off your home devices mm-hmm. is because they play an inaudible tone. Oh, I had. I did hear that. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. play an inaudible tone That's that great. signals to the device to quit listening for like a second. Can we all get one of those? Well, here's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, so what is that frequency we like, can play? It's like a brown if, note. That's what I just went to with that. If you could build it into like a, a watch or like something, right. you, could, you yeah. could go throughout life and make sure no one's ever listening to well, it. That's, you could sell it to oh, all the crazy people dude, that are all paranoid. No, no, hold on. Stop the show. I'm in right now. This conversation. <laughs> you already sold him. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. We're going to be millionaires. Why aren't we all wearing some kind of device that has this you know dog whistle signal so that <laughs> it's not listening to you at all times because it is <laughs> but so yeah so what was i even originally saying oh so <laughs> could you imagine if they all lived on the same device though? yeah that's but if i if i listen if i if i heard uh <laughs> if i heard apple talking to echo and they'd be like asking like oh should i do that i'm like wait what <laughs> well, you guys aren't making decisions about my temperature <laughs> But it, so, but I would like to get rid of the the device clutter. So sure. we do have all three kind of sitting next to each other. I don't know how many other people have this I problem. Do too. <laughs> you do too. Oh, they're, they're both um, right over well, there. And I yeah. feel like too. And I have I, too I, many kids. I can't. We can't have all that. They'd just be kids screaming at play this, play this, play <laughs> this. No, play this. I uh, know. No thanks. But but anymore, like I feel, you get one free like in every box of whatever mm. sugar encrusted. Uh, cereal that I mean like everywhere I go it's like oh buy this 
whatever and get a free we'll throw it in yeah. free google mm-hmm. home or buy this and we'll give you a free mm-hmm. echo dot mm-hmm. um i mean christmas is just a smattering of those devices at mm-hmm. ridiculously low prices um but so so the other thing so they want all of these companies to work together also they want to make sure and where is it in the article they want to improve this i find hard to believe but they're looking to for ways to improve encryption to ensure voice recordings are routed securely and develop algorithms that can run. Oh, this one I do believe Mm. they're looking to um, develop algorithms that can run on portable low power devices. Um, Oh, by the way, Amazon has an announcement and they'll be releasing more hardware tomorrow. Um, And on the 25th. And one of the theories is they're going to be coming out with some type of AirPod type device. So imagine if you had a train in your ear at all times <laughs> um, and she was always there at your beck and call. Just like that movie with Scarlett Johansson. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, this is what we're getting to, but you already have that with like AirPods themselves and you're mm-hmm. talking to Siri, right? Well, I, and I'm interested because I don't think it's even in, I didn't get to check the 13.1 release, mm-hmm. but the capability for siri and i can say just her name because i didn't say the wake the primary oh, really do you have to turn that on because i just finished my update the 13.1 right now so <laughs> um yeah you have to say hey mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you just say siri mm-hmm. she doesn't wake up okay um, this is this is going to be a movie <laughs> next summer about how you just can't say certain words to wake the robots yes yeah. that's yeah. what it's going to be mm-hmm. we're going to our language is going to be so we're going to be speaking in code so the robots don't hear us mm-hmm. i think i just wrote a movie i'm pretty sure <laughs> there's like the quiet place and there's all these different don't speak don't talk now it's going to be the one Oh, this don't is, wake the robot. So here's yeah. here's a setting. Just poking at, 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 at settings. The, the I'm, text I'm, reading one's the one I'm interested in. Right. Well, mm. I'm in the settings, and I never know Siri. Like under the Siri settings, has there been an app listing previously? Yes. Okay, because there's like I'm in here, and it says that's Siri suggestions. Learn isn't it? from this app. So that's that's Siri suggestions. Yep. Okay. So uh, suggest shortcuts, show and search. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I'm still I'm still unable to I, and, I, and I need to sit down and figure out this is my problem with if this and that I was like I know this is can be useful but I have to figure out the recipe of the way that this is useful for me so there's the if this then that and mm. then there's the shortcuts app yeah there's a shortcut I want the <clears throat> series shortcuts because I want to try to activate that with my phone but and, and and everything so but you can also do hey mm-hmm, tell if this then that to bah, 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 bah. Right. And like, I, I know ah. there was a thing where you can say, uh, hey, Siri, you know, tell Google Assistant. Da, 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 oh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie. Um, you know, and, and, and you can use the Google Assistant through your Siri kind of. But so. there's going to be a new thing where if you have an AirPod in your ear and you mm-hmm. get a text message, she'll read you the text message like car. It's like, like CarPlay. CarPlay. Yeah. She'll yeah, read right. you the text message and then ask if you want to respond and go like through that. that whole thing, which I think is really nice, right? If I'm if I'm listening to a podcast at work or wherever, absolutely, and I get at the gym, yeah, I get a text to pull your phone out and like have to text somebody. Mm-hmm. You could just do it You're right there. Trying to run awesome. on the yeah, treadmill, yeah, yeah. and I yeah. kind of flop around when yeah, I run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, I'm in. I'm listening to the podcast right now. I'm not on it. Like I'm always, I'm interested. I'm like, yeah, tell me more, guys. This is how he is at home when he's listening. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Uh, so my awesome thing of the week again with Apple. Let's see a lot of updates. We, I, I immediately installed 13.0 when it came out. Um, and the biggest thing I really didn't dive into or have much time to dive into a lot of the features except for Apple Arcade. And I'm very excited that now it's moved over to a what? Apple Arcade. Are you aware of this? In the, uh, it's in the App Store. It's it costs App $5 Store. a month. It's $5 a month. You what? get a 30-day free trial. And you get, and actually I can just pull it up here since I have the app, Whoa. the newly updated iPad. Look at that. Look at the side screen I got there. It's a little zoomed in, unfortunately, mm-hmm. because of my resolution here. Um, but if you go to the App Store, uh, if you have any of the 13 dot releases, uh, for iPad and iOS, uh, you get the Apple Arcade and all these games for five bucks a month. Um, I played some Hot Lava. That was fun. Like that old game, you know, what if the floor was lava, but kind of a uh, 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 the floor is actually lava in this. And it was it was really fun. Uh, <laughs> so um, they're 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 like really. There's some Sonic Racing, which was a lot of fun. 
Um, there is uh, just a lot of like games of whimsy, I would call them. Like those weird um, independent, like the Monument Valley uh, uh, snowman that does uh, the Alto's Adventure games. Uh, that I love those. Like, there's a lot of them in there. Um, there's this interesting is Sonic Racing. Game. Can you scroll down on Sonic Racing? Is it going to be yeah. on the? Uh, Hold on a second. Is it for Apple TV too? So, uh, uh, ideally, everything in here is going to be cross compatible huh. to everything. To everything. So, th- this is actually very interesting to me as a dad. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's. I I'm... can't tell you how many times I've had to buy. Roblo- Robux and Minecraft coins, and mm-hmm. uh, can I get? Can I get? Four dollars for whatever <laughs> coins in this game, and I'm like, no. I I have. Um, we we now use it as allowance. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, that's, that's smart. Awesome. We that pay is good. for that's we good. we do we do chores come in at fifty cents a clip, and you can cash them in when you hit five bucks for hmm. five bucks. Yeah. Whatever. I've somehow my wife and I have somehow kept my kids away from that. That's that's good. and I I mean I don't we just we just never like my ki- our ki- my kids don't touch my phone like mm-hmm. they don't mm-hmm. like I know you know not to offend any parents listening but like you know when kids like grab their so my, their my parents phones and it's like this all the, and I'm like that's mine thanks like I don't <laughs> like when parents are like I can't even use my phone I can't even they have it I'm like well that's terrible that don't make sense <laughs> so, uh, so but we have the yeah. but all these games. There's no like in-game currency. No, no in-game currency. There's oh, wow. No advertising. Nope. Nope. That's nice. Like all you, of those. You, you get fun stuff. Like uh, I was playing this Lego Brawl game, mm-hmm. which is like it's kind of Lego Smash Brothers. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. It's pretty great. What were we just playing? The the um, Brawlhalla. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. We were having fun with that. That they was had a good. WWE. Uh, yeah, the WWE guys yeah. just came in. Although it's like ten bucks a pop. To yeah, get right. That's, that yeah, crazy. I know. Well, that's the thing where my kids are now. Where they'll be like, "Oh, we can play as you know. Oh, I can play as Sasha. Oh no, no, I can't because they'll see it cost <laughs> money and they know I'm going to say no. But the game was it's free. Like, you know. Yeah, that's the game, cool. Yeah, more games free. Oh, that's yeah. rad. So I mean, it, it's uh, I think it was like fifty games at launch, and they're going to be adding games all the time. There's some some titles in here from Konami, Capcom. Wow. Like I say Lego uh, has something in here. Sega with Sonic Racing. Um, there's some uh, a new Choo Choo Rocket. If you remember that from the Dreamcast, Rayman because Rayman is freaking everywhere. Uh, there was like an interesting. There's a weird fighting game. There's got a cel shaded fighting game called Punch Planet. I was playing. Hmm. I cannot wait for the update on the TV OS to play it on there. Yeah. And I have not tested. No chill. I have not tested my Xbox One controllers with there. I've just been taking my Steel uh, Series Nimbus with me, um, which is a great controller, by the way. And and that five bucks gets it. For you and your entire your entire family, family. anybody on huh. family sharing. So Missy has it too. As soon as she updates to thirteen, and um, and across her iPad and everything. And uh, there was oh, there was something else to it too. Um, I just lost it. Uh, but but I mean, it, it it seems like a really good. It seems like a really good. Uh, uh, Oh, Max. It, it's on Max, too, when that mm. updates. Mm-hmm. So now that's across. Let everything. me ask you. I just had this conversation very similar to what's happening with this Apple Arcade. Is, uh, you know, obviously they're going to have more and more and more and more games. Mm-hmm. So why don't we have yet a Nintendo app that's just 100 all the Nintendo games. Because they're selling their for, online service on the Switch that gets you the old Nintendo games right now. Is that what it is? Yeah. Now like you 20, have. It, when, you, for, when you sign up for. for sorry. Yeah, I don't have a Switch. Sorry, you sign up for so Chilis tell me one. why I should buy a when Switch. When you sign up for Switch <laughs> online, so if you buy a Switch, yeah. and then you sign up for the online, which I think is also like 6 bucks a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or um, $20 a year. Or $20 a year. You wow. get a back catalog of like 150-ish. Wow. Old Nintendo, and now they just added Super Nintendo <laughs> games to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and they they'll, they continue to add to that back catalog. It's kind of like the yes, it's, it's like the Xbox Game Pass or Games for Gold, but all with the old all the old games that you care about. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now we have we use Xbox Game Pass. It's pretty fun. Mm-hmm. There's enough to keep you busy, dude. Mm-hmm. I got just that back catalog of like because I while I'm not playing games very often, I'm still getting in there twice a month and hitting the button on the gold. For Xbox, and yeah. I just have that entire catalog to play. Like Tekken Tag yeah, yeah, Tournament yeah. Two for 360 just came yeah. down. I'm like, in. I never even played that. I'm in. Let's yeah. do this. Somehow I have like pretty much the entire Assassin's Creed collection I have to get through. I left <laughs> off on three. Uh, so, um, you know, like like things like that. I, I, it's it's, it makes it easier to be a gamer. 
You yeah, know? Oh, that's yeah. the big thing keeping me from the Switch right now. Because every time mm. I look, I was just looking at it again this week. I'm like, maybe it's time for me to buy one. Then I realize everything I want to play, uh, although the online is very enticing, is like yeah. I have to drop fifty, sixty dollars because I want Mario Kart. Yeah, I, that's, that's probably a, that's, that's why we haven't bought me. Switch yeah. yet either. Because I kind of like, I feel like we'll play three games. Yeah, and I don't, I don't want to. But do you'll that, get right? these if you do the online mm-hmm. and everything. So that that kind of entices mm-hmm. it a little bit. So it's, that, that that gets me closer. But still, it's like I got to at least buy um, um, Smash Brothers and Mario Kart. Yes. And that's one hundred twenty dollars right there. Right. Yeah. I'm not. You know? That's well, why I didn't do it either. So, so get the Switch Lite, which mm-hmm. is like what a hundred and some dollars cheaper. Two hundred dollars. Yeah. Then you pick up the the um, if you get the tickets. Mm-hmm. So instead of paying sixty dollars a game. If you buy mm-hmm. the oh sorry they're tokens. Ah. If you buy the Nintendo tokens, two tokens are a hundred bucks. So okay. then you get and those are good for two games of your choice. Okay. Out of a pretty massive catalog, so it's. It, so you could get the sixty dollar games for fifty. Okay. So you're you could you could get in there decently and cheap. Chill's having this game. You, get, you could sell. You could maybe sell your Dreamcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Trade, trade your Dreamcast. Wait, which game? I have like two green, Dreamcasts. I have two. I have two Dreamcasts. I, I have this interesting thing. Thank you, Thrifty, because now I have like spare um, um, uh, Wii's and Game Cubes that don't work. <laughs> so, but but they, they look good on the shelf. So you know. Yeah, I used to have about six Nintendos and three yeah. Segas. I got a stack. I kept of pulling them apart and fixing them. I got and, a yeah. stack of PlayStation Two and yeah. uh, one and twos <laughs> and and uh, about. Three uh, Sega CD side loading units and pieces. Oh, holy crap! Because I was trying to fix, but um, you know, there, there's that. great. See, so yeah. I, I feel like I have just bags of Nintendo screws because <laughs> 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 like, uh, of like taking them apart and going, "Oh, I can't do anything with this." <laughs> what am I gonna? Yeah, I yeah. Mean, yeah. We're like, I got another Sega CD. I bet I can make this piece and this piece work. And you open up, and eat all three of them are different board designs <laughs> entirely. Huh. Same with the PlayStation. It just it's just maddening sometimes. But anyways, Aaron. Hi. What is your awesome thing of the week? You this know, is the moment. It's, this is, it's not, uh, you had some awesome stuff, and it's something that. It's not um, a competition. No, <laughs> it's just, it's, you know, I figured you'd appreciate this awesome nerdy moment that I had with my son on Batman Day. Is that okay? <gasps> it's a good start. A good That's a good start. It was just a fun nerdy thing that, you know, when you, when your kids experience something that you love also, like, you know, my kids love all of these superheroes and Star Wars, and it's amazing. And I'm a oh, kid it makes again. it so much fun. Like, I know more now about Star Wars and Marvel than I ever did in my life because I knew what I knew already and then adding the new. So anyway, <laughs> but so we're sitting there and uh, it's Batman Day and uh, they're, I think they were, they were playing it on TNT nonstop. So we just had it on all day because we had a retirement party at my house. So. Wait, which era of Batman? It was 89 Batman. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It, um, so we were watching that, and my son, he's sitting there. He's uh, He just turned nine years old, and he's watching Batman, 89. And Harvey Dent walks out of the building and down the steps, and I see him. I, I'm, I'm, like, watching him, and he's like, what? Dad, Dad. Harvey Dent is Lando. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, that's right, buddy. Like, you know how excited it was that he noticed. Uh-huh. Like, I was. He was like, this. He's like, that's like Indiana Jones is also Han Solo. He's like, this is. He goes, wow, that's so cool. Like, he was so excited. And then, like, explaining to him, like, he knows what an actor is. You know, uh, yeah. I hope so, obviously, because then I wouldn't be one. Uh, but like, he's like, it is amazing that he gets to be Lando. Andy gets to be in a Batman movie and like it's just fast and I'm like I know buddy I know I also have a nerd boner too right now it's so cool <laughs> like he uh, it's that's awesome like just experience those little things with my with my son and my daughters my daughters are super like my I think my my oldest daughter is more of a Marvel nerd than any of us so <laughs> nice. yeah that's uh, awesome. but that's awesome right that is awesome that's he said great. something awesome. That's the first thing that came to mind because I think <laughs> it's, it's awesome. When I uh, when I uh, uh, I went with Jagoff to the uh, Marvel yeah. Live, and it was just cool oh, right, to see yeah. like the kids were there, but the parents were the ones in cosplay. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh man, we we've done a couple uh, cons together. Well, we'll just kind of dress up a little bit. Yeah, you know, like you know, Dad will wear his Captain America shirt. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, but like my kids, they have costumes. Yeah, they have awesome. a lot of costumes. They. It's, love it. it's extra Halloween. They love it. They yeah. They dress up and then they go and see other people dressed up and 
take pictures with people and it's amazing they love that's it that's awesome it's uh, it's a 15 it's like what 15 dollars like just to go to the nerd zoo that's what it is <laughs> nerd zoo. Well, it's the nerd lucky because at five they're still free yeah, I know, so he's right? Old enough yeah, yeah, to yeah. Like know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Young enough that I still don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they were really tiny, we did just walk around and they ood and odd everything. <laughs> and you know, my I have pictures way back. Like I have tiny three year old, uh, uh, you know, uh, Captain America, and you know, my little daughter is like little tiny. Uh, she like Scarlet Witch or something mm-hmm. like that, and people want to take pictures with them, you mm-hmm. know, because they're mm-hmm. little. Yeah. But now they're now they're just like, let's go around see everybody, and then I yell at them and won't buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I did buy my son a twenty dollar Blue Hulk because I've never seen it before, and he plays with it, and I'm fine with that. There you go. It's Blue a solid Hulk. Investment. Wow. What is Blue Hulk? Blue like? Hulk is actually the. It's he's the. He was the. He was this uh, naval commander. That was done wrong by Bruce Banner, and he tried to make himself a Hulk, I believe. Ooh. Yeah, Blue Hulk. Hmm. And he was blue because he spent time at I, sea? I guess right? so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, okay. They were already I, low on colors after... Something like that. Red, somebody, red somebody Hulk, is, gray Hulk, green Hulk. I should look at the live cast because somebody's... So, every time I say something like that, somebody, especially if you say something remotely nerdy, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. fact check city. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, but I Potter, can't remember everything. Potter, Dave Potter of the Tiny Shirt podcast on our previous discussion, uh, he says, this is why back in the day I uh, stayed on the 2600. Uh, games were too damn expensive. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, I guess that's where I'm at. Uh, anyways, hey, you know what's also awesome? Our good friends supporting this show, helping feed our awesome guests here at uh, uh, Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Four locations in Beachview, Carnegie, PA, the East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, go check them out. Uh, again, they're a staple right here, a Beachview original from they the are first bomb. location. They are one location when we started with them, and still, still give us some free pizza so we can talk about them uh thank you so much to those guys yeah it's good stuff i love i get messages whenever somebody's at slice on broadway <laughs> it's great i got wrestlers our geeky friends other podcasters you know i'll just like hey i'm at slice we're like what's up tell them <laughs> tell them we said hi <laughs> you know so uh rico and the crew at all those locations are very very good and hope you guys uh, love it too. Uh, let me know the awesome cast sent you. All right, hey, we—I think I forgot to do this last week. To be honest, oh, no. uh, Chachi—he's still out there. He's still playing video games. He's still on his uh, uh, thousand and one game journey, and he is up oh, f- way into Super Nintendo right now. Uh, this has been uh, his, his thing over at thegamejourney.com. Just to update, he's got the latest reviews on uh, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. Yes. Uh, Uni Racers, he's really digging into that stuff. Uh, some Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Mortal Kombat, the original for Super Nintendo. Wow, that's on the list? Are you serious? <laughs> so, why the Nintendo version with no blood? Um, <laughs> let's see, Yoshi's Island and some Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out. Go check out all that at thegameandjourney.com. Uh, he's got some cool stuff going on over there. Um, and he's really excited about it. He's talking, we, I had brunch with him a couple of weeks ago, and we were talking about um, how he's going to manage going into like N64 and everything. Because remember, he, he probably liked this, Aaron. He, he got a, um, a, a package of... Um, USB controllers for his retro pie arcade, or it was a, it was a retro arcade uh, retro pie. I forget what they call it. I I got one of those. I got installed, but he did like a PC version. Yeah, and uh, it's got like you know original style NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, N sixty four controller. Um, so he can play like it still emulated, but yeah, yeah that yeah. original feel to things like that. We uh, we we broke the we are we allowed to say that <laughs> oh, and no. under arrest red flag fbi mm. um and it just it was not the same so we still go back to our original nintendo oh my son just turned nine i guess what he asked for the original bomber man and i got it for him because i'm what? that dad That's well because awesome. we played the bomber man on game pass yeah and yeah. it's so much fun yeah and i was like dude you know uh, the original is like one of my favorites of all time and i don't have it on nes and uh <laughs> i can definitely uh chalk it up to my son's birthday account <laughs> and uh and it's pretty great yeah yeah i, I do not recommend the original mario kart if you oh no no yeah, it's well, not good. no 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 <laughs> okay you yeah. you got to like I want to play the Mario Kart for playing Mario Kart not because I want to play Mario Kart mm. you know like mm-hmm. I, like I put out the N- the the N sixty four one 
a couple of weeks ago. I'm like, yeah, this holds up. This is the cool. N64 holds up. Yeah, yeah. It's, Super it's hoarding, Nintendo holding up until that uh, Mario Kart <laughs> yeah, comes out. And I, th- is it this week the Mario Kart's coming out on mobile? Tomorrow. I think tomorrow. Wait a minute. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Wow. Well, I pre I pre registered for it, so it should be on what every when device. When you wake up, it'll just be on. When every I wake device. up, yeah. When you wake up in the morning Man. with a fresh cup of awesome cast and some <laughs> Mario Kart on your device, I need to pay attention to this. <laughs> so how do you? So you can play Mario Kart with other people, and you're just are you going to be drive, I, driving I your phone? It's not. No, 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 no. It, they did no. a beta of it, and I spent every uh, every one of the ten days of the beta, and I was traveling at the time too, so I spent a lot of time on this thing. Um, it's like you use your thumb. It's um, I don't think you're directly facing other people in it. If I recall, I don't know. I, think, I didn't get to play the beta. So, my, no. dude, I pulled out an I, I'm an iPhone user, and I pulled out the old S6 you gave me and Samsung <laughs> S6 uh, to play this thing. So I was double phoning it so I could play a video game so for ten on, days. It's not on. Uh, no, it's on. They no, will be. It's just the beta be. was only on. Gotcha. Android. Gotcha. So it'll be on iPhone. I hope it keeps the levels I progressed, but Ooh. I'm kind of okay if it doesn't. They're adding cause... some new character from Mario Odyssey, I saw. Mm. Oh. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I saw some blurbs today based on the Excited fact Excited for that. Still playing. I just hope that you can play on a plane because that pisses me that off. That is usually a problem with that. But good news. So hard to find these games. Arcade, you well, the Apple Arcade games, you're supposed to play most of them offline. I'm in. Yep. I'm in. <laughs> There's so there because you you find yourself on a plane six seven hours and you're mm-hmm. like I do not want to watch. Why this. can't I play Mario Run? Yeah, like Mario right. Run didn't make sense why it was offline, right? Hmm. So, anyways, well, for copyright purposes, for copyright purposes, because they didn't want yes. people stealing the Mario the, Run, the install, and like they the, and they the wonder game. why, and they wonder why they didn't make as much money Let's, with that. So the Nintendo Switch, mm-hmm. if you get digital downloads, yeah. It does a re-auth every three hours. Every three hours? Yes. That is excessive. That's very excessive. And it has something to do with to make sure that you're not sharing your digital download account with like someone else. Like mm. it's, I was reading about it last night because I was trying to figure out w- if we got a second Switch, mm-hmm. I'm not rebuying every game. No, no. Yeah. Right. Because there's some, there's some, like if you if you don't have the online and the cloud save, like you can't save the games across yep. as it rest of that device. But there, I heard there was something about the games too yeah they re-auth every three so yeah. so you cannot have two switches and say i have like i mean i can i have my my copy of injustice on xbox 360 it's on my one it's on that 360 and it's on a 360 at home as long as i'm logged in we're good yep and yeah and there's something weird about the switch i was um and gadget wrote an article yesterday this about is why it. i don't want to get the 200 dollar swiss because i need the 300 dollar one in order to do tv stuff so can't double up anyways hmm. um speaking of video games I'm just listening to a podcast yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, all, I'm all interested <laughs> he's just the audience member uh <laughs> rob brown cameraman rob my good friend that uh, helps us out with a lot of the pro wrestling productions he had a uh, wonderful article because of course the Sega genesis mini is out and reviews are coming out but it's okay so uh, over at bunnyears.com new Sega, the new Sega Mini is cool but my parents are still divorced uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know one of those fun articles for that but seriously uh, the Genesis is like one of the best reviewed mini consoles I think that's come out yet um, there's Turbo s- Graphic 16 isn't out yet uh, I, 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 I've chill heard it. quite a few people already are pretty pumped about this and it's not like gonna be that insane what's that dude doing what's what's the, he's, he's just sad he's, he's just, just reflecting he's just this sad Gen Xer yeah. it's like finally we have Sega back uh, but uh, no it's <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to that but it, it's got like 40 games 42 if you like bought it with the bonus games or something uh, it, it, you know it's got the, 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 the HDMI upscale and everything I guess the features are pretty good on it so um, so everything is sounding good <laughs> from that it's got Echo the Dolphin it's got Echo the Dolphin <laughs> still Sorry. don't completely understand that game one of the most frustrating oh, games of worst. all why did we try to figure it out <laughs> You could not like, stop. Look at me. I'm going to jump over this thing. Nothing. I could not. Do nothing. <laughs> I mean, if I play a game now, yeah. I, I, it's 10 minutes. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. bye, bye, yeah. goodbye. Yeah. yeah. But Echo, why? We would go back and, and put it back in. <laughs> And tr- like, like, you know what? Maybe I'll get Echo today. You know, it was nice. It <laughs> was soothing. I, I recently, um, somebody somebody got me a copy. Oh, I, I got a collection of, of Game Gear games. I'm like, oh, Echo on the Game Gear? 
Oh. Why not? Because yeah. of it's course. Like, Echo the Dolphin is like the candy corn of Sega games. Absolutely <laughs> perfect assessment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, anyways, moving it around. Uh, Alex Carr is our friend out in California. Uh, says it looks like one of the things that he got in iOS 13 was some semblance of force touch on his SE. Uh, Chilla, I, th- I think you've mentioned something like this before, haven't you? Well, so force touch only came on certain devices with certain. I can't remember what the display requirement is. Right, and right. When they when they move to the OLED display, they can't do the different pixel pressure differential light mm-hmm. reflection mm-hmm. to figure out touch. So they had to come out with another way around it, which is also now why on your device when you when you touch and hold an icon Mm -hmm. you now get the pop-up menu yeah gives you the old school force touch options and then the move i i can't remember so is force touch dead is it with the new supported it's it's still triggered the same way on the old hardware but on new hardware that can't i'm gonna sound dave podner is gonna correct me on this you watch (laughs) (laughs) there's something with the way the light refracts on the old screens Mm -hmm. when you force on the LCDs. On the LCDs. They couldn't do that on the LEDs. LEDs. Which are the, the uh, what, iPhone Xs and yes. everything uh, above like an uh, XR in the last generation. Yes. And everything this generation? Yes. Okay. So, well, no, the Pro line. I think the 11 has the old LCD maybe. Okay. Um, but anyways. But anyways, because of that, they had to... They had to allow for a like a long press, whereas like the long press just used to jiggle the icons and let you move them around, which was like the long yeah. press on a yeah. force touch device was like a, it's been messing with me. It's like been a, really messing a weird with me. touch. Like yeah. it was don't touch too hard, <laughs> but hold it there. <laughs> um, <laughs> so so yeah so that's why it's you the get, yes, everybody gestures. everybody gets everybody gets. Quasi force touch. <laughs> you know, you get the little like you get a little bit of like the 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 tips when you start, and I've just completely. You always ignore them. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> when it's just the tip. Just the tips and the force. Just, just the force iOS touch. tips, please. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> That's because it's always some. I don't know. Every time I see that, they're like, here's something we installed that you'll never, ever look at or touch ever. And I'm like, eh, skip it all. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah. You're like, I don't know if I need to know how to do I'm that. like, heart monitor? I don't care. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't care. And, and it, so Dave said, yep. And getting rid of Force Touch saves space and gave us a bigger battery. Mm. Mm. Excuse me, I'll readjust over Thanks, here. Dave. Well, let's see. Let's let's see if there's any other in our Apple uh, story so we can kind of roll these all together. Uh, the Apple store, the Cube store in New York City, I think many of us have, uh, have uh, been there. I replaced an iPhone 3GS that I broke while visiting New York City once. Whoa. Uh, that I dropped in a you know water in the tub. Uh, those were less. Th- <laughs> now it's like ah, oh, I dropped it in the toilet for two seconds. We're good. We're, you're good. And it's like ah, oh, just for a moment. And it's like no, you're gone. You're done. It's over. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, no, they just uh, uh, re reopened the cube store. And this is um, oh, at the corner of Central Park. Uh, where the old FAO Schwartz uh, uh, store used to be. That was always cool. Go to the Cube and then go to FAO Schwartz and then, you know, reenact big. Um, Mm -hmm. (laughs) But uh, it's a Cube and you go downstairs and basically the the entire Apple store is underground. Uh, They just redid that. It is more natural light. Um, It's it's a really cool... So it looks like Christopher Nolan's Batcave. Yeah. (laughs) It's the Apple store now. Nice staircase. Uh, I was was so bummed because I was in New York City last week. Mm Mm-hmm. But I flew in Tuesday and flew out Wednesday night, and that oh, opened on Friday. No, <laughs> the, 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 there was a, used to be a glass. Is this still glass? Yeah, but it's full. It used to be like small panes, and now it's like full sheets. Mm. So there's new glass, new very interesting glass. Like I said, there, there's these portals up top that I think are also seating areas. Um, that, that gets natural light in there. There's your interesting boxes everybody sits in to find out how the user there's there's greenery there's inside um uh uh just uh what do you, what do you call these plant just plant walls i guess i know there's probably a, an official there's, term yeah there's them. definitely some i love the the musical notes made out of a- apple airpods there's huh. about like five thousand dollars of airpods on this wall by the way <laughs> <laughs> making this, this this picture they just glued there, them on yeah yeah do they still have the elevator 
Uh, I think the elevator is. Hold on, let me pop back up here in the images. These images, courtesy of uh, Engadget, they have to have the, the, the elevator. Elevator used to be like a cylinder. Yeah, well, there was see through all the way around. There's still a cylinder there, but it looked like it was reflecting. So, yeah. like, can you not see through it anymore? I don't know, mm. but there's definitely still an elevator. You see the people waiting for it. <laughs> so. No, it does look kind of clear. Or is that reflection? I can't tell. I think it's reflective, but, I mean, that doesn't mean it couldn't uh, be see-through on the other side. Yeah. So. Wow. That is nice. That, that, I mean, that's always when you're in town, we're like, well, let's see what the Apple Store looks like. Because they, they always... Like, when they were talking... When, when the one the new one opened over in South Hills Village, which I think just celebrated two years uh, recently, uh, I think Amanda mentioned recently, um, like, talking about, like... You know, you look up and you see the tiles in the ceiling and there's like, you know, these little stones in there and you just don't think much of it. But like each of these stones is different, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, you know, and we're taken from this quarry and, and, and all that kind of stuff like this high design concept going on. So um, also I had a lot of fun Friday. Um, I, I happened to open my email at the time this was happening. I fix it, did a live streaming teardown of the iPhone 11 and pros and everything. Um, which, you know, those discovering uh, how to tear down something that complicated um, in real time has got to be fun. Uh, so that was kind of cool. That was kind of the first discovery of, like, how big the battery is. You know, again, it has, like, you know, extra two or three hours of uh, battery life depending on which model you get. Um, so he's just seeing them very scarily tearing things apart. That, is uh, so, <laughs> that makes me so anxious. Mm-hmm. Like that's like oh my god that's so expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. So there is about it is at least uh, I'd say about at least three to four thousand dollars of of crap. iPhones. Oof. You but know? they usually don't. They usually they put them back together and they're still functioning, right? Yeah, yeah. They know. Oh, yeah. I'm they, sure they the know experts. enough, but not. I, I wouldn't yeah. be like go in there and look around and then still the back general. would never go on and I have electric <laughs> tape around it. Yeah, yeah. I can't use this part of my screen. Dude, I mean, I, I've worked on my MacBook and be like, well, that doesn't didn't go on entirely, right? Yeah. It's, it's the, oh, yeah. That screw is sticking out a little bit. That's just how it is now. <laughs> yep. You that's know? how it is now. I mean, right. I can't remember like any laptop or computer I put back together and just like, yeah, you know, I don't need the extra screw. Yep. There's <laughs> always know? a screw missing. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. funny. Pretty often. Uh, and of course, they're they're working on their all their discovery and, and, and everything. You can read that if you're a tech junkie uh, or a stats junkie or chip junkie uh, over there. Oh, geez. Catching up on what you guys put in here, too. Uh, hey, want to throw a shout-out to, hey, us. Uh, we do, of course, all this podcasting work over here, but it's not just podcast, guys. Uh, Sidekick Media Services housed right here in Sorgatron Media Studio. We're doing a lot of live productions, a lot of uh, uh, post-production, a lot of conferences, music videos. Check out the na- latest one by Nick Iben, by the way. Man, we get into some really wild territory visually with him. He brings the ideas and we just try to make it happen. And uh, we have a lot of fun with it. Uh, Let's go check out all that stuff. Psychic Media Services has you covered as a psychic to your superhero project. What next big thing can they help us with? You know, we have a lot of people coming to us and say, hey, can we do this thing? Like, yeah, we can figure (laughs) out how to do this thing. (laughs) And and we do pretty good at it. So go check us out. Psychicmediaservices.com. I know I got a few more links, new, new links, new pictures new projects popping up there and recently refreshing our linkedin page if you want to keep up over there if you're uh, in the linkedin world on your social media uh so go check all that out and follow us on all the social medias as well okay uh chilla you went on a scavenger hunt i did go on a scavenger hunt so i will say and and this may give the scare house hmm. some ideas mm. um so Ace Axe Throwing, which is in, it's in Homestead, in Homestead mm-hmm. put on a scavenger hunt over the weekend. Hmm. So I think it was like, I can't remember, 25 bucks a team, up to five people in the team. You had, When you registered, you got a clue emailed back to you that you had to decipher to figure out where the first location was. You knew that you had to be at the first location on Sunday morning at 11 a.m., but you had to figure out where the location was. Awesome, right? Once you got there at 11 a.m., all of their Snapchat geo filters went active. Mm-hmm. So when you're in the location, you can get to the geo filter. The geo filter has a, had a code word and a clue to the next location. 
This, this video looks epic, by the way, on their website. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it's a pretty good job. So then, so then, as you got to each location, you got the code word, and then you got the, key, the clue to the next location. When you got to the final location, you had to provide all of the keywords from the prior locations, and then you had the right to go find and search and dig for a big container of five hundred dollars. And all the free Red Bull you can drink. <laughs> and then they had a thing back at their place with like hot dogs, hamburgers, and pop. And, and I mean, bar for, was for 25 bucks to win a box of money, that's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. And, it, and it's fun. I mean, it was even so if it much, wasn't a prize. So much fun. We, yeah. we didn't make it past location. We made it to location six, figured out the clue to where location seven was, but couldn't figure out like wow. what the clue, how it linked to location how long did, seven. How long was it? It was from eleven to two. Wow! So not that bad. No, um, but you were you were ri- you were driving all over the city. That's fun. Um, the the uh, Magneto painting in uh, Lawrenceville was one of the locations, so that was pretty cool. Um, no, it was just it's the best. It was a in lot. Southside, you said it was a lot. Of, yeah, the, yeah, it was a lot mm-hmm. of fun. Um, highly recommended. I'm sure they'll be doing it next year because I think this was their third one. Mm-hmm. Um, and if anyone knows of any other scavenger hunts that are coming up and fun, please let me know because I'd like to try them out. Yeah, that's pretty rad. Yeah. Awesome. Katie, you have a story in here. Do I? You do. Which story? Uh, w- wait, which story? I sent you pictures too. You said, well, don't know. <laughs> no, not with that story. I hope it's not with that story. No, it's a different story. I sent you a picture of my lip balm. Oh, <laughs> I'll pull that up later. <laughs> oh, no. So my story is, I just lost it. Uh, so Pornhub revealed that Borderlands 3, the search for porn, was up 13,000% hmm. uh, in within, like, what, two days? Yeah, three it, days. It, 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 the search for Borderlands 3 on porn websites. Correct. Right. So, yeah, Let's we qualify are that. totally into Borderlands porn at this point, um, which is including, oh, gosh, uh, Borderlands 2. Some people were, I guess they were talking about vintage. Uh, Borderlands <laughs> hentai. There are charts. This is, again, hmm. I was just talking to our comic book friends about the comic book uh, searches, mm-hmm. uh, 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 graphs. There's a wonderful Pornhub Borderlands search graph here. Mm-hmm. Jeez. It's so nice. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a big nerd for numbers, and then Pornhub gives great numbers, and it's amazing. Uh, but, like, between 18 and 24-year-olds, there's 119% more likely to be searching for Gearbox's shooter than any other age group. Uh, the age group of 65 and older um, being 79% less likely to be looking for Borderlands 3 porn. Hmm. Yeah. So if you're huh. ever... Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, if you're really into stats and just random weird stats, you can... Uh, Pornhub always has articles up about um, various things that are, you know, like Kylie Jenner was a thing because she was on uh, the cover of Playboy. So there was a big shoot up and people looking for her stuff on Pornhub or people look like her. Um, uh, There's a good article about most searched for Tekken characters. Uh, (laughs) Tekken? Yes. So apparently it's a popularity of uh, Tekken themed sex dolls. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nina is, uh, uh, searches for Nina are the most popular, followed closely by Eliza and lily and but yeah you can see the whole article here in on uh, pornhub and check wow. out the most search for tekken characters on pornhub i need to step up my kinks <laughs> yeah. that's what i need to do <laughs> the, <laughs> there was a couple other articles because i usually look for porn tech stories and there were a couple that even made me i was like i wow. can't say this on the air <laughs> i'm always just like a eh, cute mom of three <laughs> just like my <laughs> wife <laughs> your, your quote unquote wife and quote unquote kids. You're yeah, your right, fake right. world. I know, right? <laughs> your pretend reality. Oh, geez. What is this NSFW community that you just linked me to, Chilla? <laughs> oh, so, so when she's brought up the board. <laughs> I like that it wasn't me. So it's funny because so I was looking up Iron Man cosplay type stuff, like where I could get like an arc reactor. I think you saw, probably saw the picture of. Like my arc reactor collection yeah. and my Edith glasses. Yeah. So I was looking for. Whoop, that gets. Whoop, that was quick. <laughs> did, you <laughs> find, <laughs> did you say Whoa, Edith glasses? Yes. Wait, what's that from? From uh, Spider Man Far From Home. Oh my gosh, that's right. Edith glasses. I was like, yeah, yeah what is that from? Even Dead, I'm the Hero. Yeah, um, yeah. But the, <laughs> so I was looking for <laughs> cosplay type stuff that I could either build in pieces or buy. Mm. And when I was searching the, the links led me then to Reddit, which then led me down this cosplay prop 
rabbit hole, which then oh, led no. me... Which eventually goes to porn. Which eventually... Which I found out there's this thing called Rule 34. Have you heard of this? No. I guess it's like it's like a proper thing. Okay. So Rule 34 is states that if it exists, there's porn for it. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, mm-hmm. that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a whole subreddit called Rule 34. Yeah. Um, um, which, I'm adding that right now. <laughs> Because Reddit is my my jam. I mean, we, which then led me down this like weird rabbit hole of of <laughs> cosplay slash video game slash porn, which was like, wow, there is a yeah. lot. It's like subgenres. Oh no, yes. there, yeah, there's a mm-hmm. lot. Mm-hmm. Which I, which so that's which, why I like this whole Reddit that you sent me for Overwatch. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, well, like, and there's like four different Overwatch watch subreddits <laughs> dedicated. <laughs> To Overwatch porn. Wow. What? Wow. And it's this is the characters from the video game. Overwatch. But in most of them, but some of them, funny enough, lead back to Pornhub. Oh, yeah. With a bunch of different either animated video or people. Mm-hmm. So, uh, for what it's worth. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. It's <laughs> <laughs> the things you learn on the podcast. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah it's just, it's one of those things where I kind of knew that stuff, and then you're reminded of things that humanity has done. Like how deep the, the rabbit hole goes. Yeah, and you're just like, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> you're like, come on, guys. <laughs> yeah. Are you just like regular butts? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's, into, nobody's into regular butts anymore, guys. It's Overwatch butts. <laughs> Overwatch butts. Uh, Borderlands War- butts. I'm not in. I don't get Warcraft it. Warcraft butts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guys, just, I mean, regular butts 2020. Captain Marvel butts. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is America's ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it's Captain America. Perhaps yeah, that's treason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Anything else we should hit up in here uh, real quick before you head out? Uh, this. W- oh, hey, you guys remember Cast AR that we talked about several years ago? <laughs> several years ago several they years had the ago. classes and there was Back like a, there was, was like a, a gray sheet and you would have like a pop-up version of like dungeons and dragons on your in front of you if you wore the glasses uh this was a team that developed this at valve that does steam and everything right um they left valve were allowed to take the technology with them did a kickstarter the company folded in 2017 and the original people were able to buy out the technology from that and now they're back and they're been at PAX and everything and they have a new Kickstarter uh, <laughs> which will oh, in turn wow. fail which will probably which will not I mean <laughs> it's like it's like a vicious cycle but hey the hardware looks a lot cooler now at least right um, the classes are a lot <laughs> okay let's be honest they're, they're still pretty geeky uh, but but still at least you get to be geeky together huh. and, um, and I mean, that's pretty rad I mean the representation if everything looks like this and, and who knows if the resolution is really comparable or mm. anything like that um but you know you're seeing them like throwing you know using using physical uh uh, uh you know what the hell you call it little characters in D. Mm-hmm. there's a name for them uh or that cards looks awesome. or, or something and you put them down there's this wand app which i think looks like the uh <laughs> the lighter oh, wow. the lighter for my stove yeah to right be honest. <laughs> i'm like what's he doing with that so but that's one of the grill controls. lighter it is yeah so i mean but again it's like that kind of D D tabletop board yeah. game uh, that that kind of pops up in front of you. That kind of feels like you know the the 3D chess from Star yeah. Wars. Uh, I love that's it. you know that's a very similar thing to my friend. You have to have him on uh, Pittsburgh Dad director, my friend Chris Prexta. Uh, we ha- we've had Star Wars minis nights. We've been into that, and he's yeah. a super super uh, he design amazing designer. He made uh, maps video maps, and they play on a flat screen on the table. Really? And he made motion maps that just loop. And he can, like, go and make them do things. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's... Awesome. Oh, yeah. Just for fun. you got to see just this. Just for fun. But, just this for is, fun. but this is the stuff. He would make, like, custom Star Wars minis maps. And I'm like, uh, you could get $100 for this. Like, are you... like? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. people would lose their minds oh, buying yeah. this at conventions. He's like, eh, it's fun for us. I'm like, you're nuts! This, But the motion map is very impressive. He made one It was like a like a... You know the Star Wars uh, train car in the sky. You know what I'm talking about from the. You know what I'm talking about from Solo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. From Solo, he yeah. made one of those, and it and it like looks like the train you play That's on cool. the train. It looks like it's moving. That's awesome. It's dude. I'm just like you hate money, don't you? <laughs> this is 
<laughs> you know, it's all for the sake of fun. But yeah, talk to him about it. Holy crap! It's so rad that I have to bring it up. It's so, but that reminded me of that. It's pretty That's rad. awesome. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. you have any video of this or anything? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Something. Well, yeah. we'll get something. So we'll share that in the group later. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Um, that's awesome. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's see some more porn stuff, porn hub stuff, <laughs> porn stuff. stuff yeah. over Here's there. some more porn da, da, stuff. Da, da, da. Um, sorry, poking through here. Uh, do, 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 do. Fortnite. <laughs> hey, uh, Chilla, are you up on the latest Fortnite update? So I am not. One happy Batman day in Fortnite over the weekend. Mm. I, so I was super frustrated because, like, I couldn't remember for some weird reason when my phone updated, it reset. And I didn't save my password for Fortnite. Oh, no. And then when I went to type it in, I had to do the forgot password. Yeah. And then I went and changed it. And it said I typed that new changed password in. It didn't work. It was like you have to change again. Then it locked out my iPad. Like it was just, oh, it was just throw Fortnite across the floor. So <laughs> <laughs> it's th- throw Fortnite across the floor night. Uh, let's see. I could probably load it up here if it's because so I wanted to see the new because they have new skins. They have new yeah, skins, but Batman. they also have a new party mode. Because remember, we we talked about uh, a little bit ago. Oh, I got an error. Probably because I have a new iPad update. Um, mm. the, this this um, party hub. Um, they 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 remember they they bought that one company that had like the kind of party uh, video thing, and we're like, what are they doing a video chat? But when you when you load up, they have this like party hub, um, friends list connector thing that uh, that loads up and vertically too, which really startled me when I uh, when I was doing my update. Um, so and again, it's kind of their yeah, the the whole menu. Like I haven't played in a couple months, and the whole menu threw me threw me off. Yeah, and, I, and then yeah, I haven't we haven't played in like a just, month. I'll play that with you know like that's the one thing my son you know came home and was like. Dude, dad, Fortnite. And I was like, let's check it out, bro. And I was like, yep, this is pretty rad. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so we'll play a little bit. You know, we'll play every mm-hmm. once in a while. But, but we like seeing the new updates. We yep. like seeing the new stuff like that. Yeah, so this is what it looks like when you, if you're on video with us. Like, you're connecting the Fortnite, but while you're there, you can still party up huh. and go. Let's see. You can change your profile and everything. So let's just go to standard. I'm looking good. Uh, let's see. I can select my avatar. Let's be... Uh, Let's be a uh, cool purple hat guy mm-hmm. that I use a lot. There he is. Looking good. Moving on. Allow friends to join without an invite. Okay. And now, you like, here's your friends list. So you can huh. get in here. I have to invite to the party. Like, while the game is loading, you can set up your party and everything uh, in this vertical format, uh, which is kind of nice on the iPhone and everything. Uh, let's see. Go down here. Add friends. Share the app. So there's, there's this... You know, just a little bit of kind of like pre-game interface um, that that has a lot of social on it that it pulls, supposedly is uh, based on this um, startup that they bought. So, um, and, is and that I, why it's now five gig to update? Oh God, <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? Wow, I cannot play on the phone. I can't. It's so it's I too like I'm like oh my God. I play <laughs> I'm playing on the phone can't. or the iPad, but again yeah. I got the Nimbus Steel Series thing going. You got oh, a controller. Yeah, I, got, yeah. I got a controller and it takes over. So I've have been you doing ever, that more and more. Have you ever tried the um my buddy played we put it he put his phone in his VR goggles <laughs> and plays with his controller <laughs> like that and I'm with, like I would How do you do that? Is there a puke. VR mode? Is no. It, like, he how, literally looks at it like that. Like he uh, puts it in his face. I don't face know if that here. works, dude. He puts it in his face. I don't. That and just makes my like, head hurt. I know. I'm like, that's insane. Like, it, it maybe if you like rip the lenses out or something. There was something right? the way he. Yeah, it wasn't a VR mode. It yeah, was like yeah. he puts it in his face. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. It was ridiculous. It's just like you put a clip in front of your face something, with your phone I, yeah. and just hang. But he there. used some. He yeah. used v- goggles. Yeah, well, and actually, I played better. I played better with the uh, iPhone controls than I did the controller. Whenever I booted it up on the Xbox, I might try that that that's because that's what I started on, right? Yeah, right. right. And you get used to. It. You're like, oh, a it does what? It's like, no, you hit this button. It, it made more yeah. sense. You for know, me, for so. me, I just I, that would have to. I have to play on Xbox. Cause... I noticed that because I've been playing. Um, I, I just picked up the uh, the second Telltale series for Batman. Mm-hmm. And loved the first one. I had it on the 360. I, somebody got me like an extra copy of something, so I exchanged it and got uh, the first one. And uh, I've been playing on my phone, and I realized like when you play Telltale games on like an Xbox, it's like hit the red A button, and you, you, your brain needs another cycle to remember where that red A button is. Yeah. Whereas it's just like tapping on the phone. Red is B, blue is A. Right. <laughs> red A. Yes. Yeah. Especially when you jump from PlayStation to Xbox. 
I'm not a big PlayStation person, but to what is X? Right? Like, where's oh, yeah. Triangle? Where's yeah. Square? I'm yeah. like, what? Having there's having, a square button. I remember here? that. Yeah. I don't know why, but it's ingrained. I know exactly. So where I they never are. owned a PlayStation until like yeah. Christmas time. Spider Man time. And it was because Spider Man yeah. came yeah. out, and I got a good well, deal on. I went to Xbox system. after PS2. I was on Xbox originally. Like I was on the, yeah, the yeah, OG yeah. Xbox, and then. The 360. So I never, I yeah. never. I went from PS2 to 360. And, and sometimes I boot up those old systems, and 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 again, it's like yo know, translating that. Like I'll try mm. and go play some old WWE Crush Hour or uh, or the the PlayStation Mini I picked up, right? And it's just like that. Okay, this has to come back to me, kind of thing. Because it's been so long. Because I I haven't I don't have any PlayStation past the two. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, hey, it's been a lot of fun uh, chatting, Aaron. What do you got going on? You know, just nothing really. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I have an amazing uh, fundraiser show on October 3rd uh, at the Glitterbox Theater for uh, Huntington Race for a Cure. And uh, other than that, Grown Dad Business. Grown Dad Business is my podcast, bro. GrownDadBusiness.com. It's all there. Fun times. You know what I mean? All there waiting for you. Shows, calendars, podcasting, shirts, whatevs. <laughs> That's you the got the whole merchandising commercial. deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, uh, Katie, you got a lot of Hi. stuff going on, yes. including chapstick. Chapstick, so much pretty. Oh, chapstick. where's it? Where'd yep, you send me that picture at? Uh, in Google, uh, G- chatting. Thanks. Okay, cool. I'll pull it up. Burp, burp, burp. What? 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 So, so, what? Where can people check out stuff? Stuff is is opening. People can go things, see things. There. Yeah, come see my things. Um, yeah, so I will have my chapstick <laughs> out and about. Uh, my zombie will be out and about starting tomorrow. Okay. And zombie den, I will have him out and about. There's a so there's a picture of you hugging all of the chapstick all right the there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Jeez. Is that wait, what's all the chapstick for? Uh, it's giveaways. Yeah, that's giveaways. Yeah. My favorites was a couple years ago the syringe pens. Yeah. Those were pretty. My what? kids got a kick out of those. What's the green glowing? Uh, they glow in the dark. Oh. Rad. Oh. Yeah, they, oh, I did get chapstick from you guys before. Mm-hmm. It's very nice. That's it's right. Vanilla flavored. Yeah, that's right. I do have scare house chapstick. I wish I liked chapstick. Yeah. I wish you liked what do you how do you not need chapstick? You're extra I've moist never, all I've the never, time. Yes. I've never so I from what I understand, if you start using chapstick, then you like need it. Oh. Uh, what? Like it, it it causes you to Sure, 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 sure. It like cuts your body's ability to need I to I knew what you mean. Yeah. Naturally yeah. moisturized. Oh. Sure, sure, sure. I have never used chapstick in my life. Yeah. And I've I, and it actually makes me like uncomfortable to have it on my lips. Well, now, now that Chill has oh. let us know how bad uh, chapstick is for us, you can go get your Scarehouse chapstick. Yeah, it's <laughs> funny. It glows. Chilla is not using chapstick over at chillatech.net. That is true. No chapstick for me. <laughs> Chilla on the Twitters. Uh, thank you so much. Producer Missy has been uh, on the wings as well, uh, trying to keep yourself from petting the cats yes. uh, <laughs> and taking notes all night and hanging out in the chat room i uh, think everybody that has been hanging out in the chat room dave potter of the tiny shower podcast has been at, with that all night uh and everybody else has been hopping in i've seen a lot of you guys out there hopping in and out thank you so much everybody for joining us uh you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week i just saw the thumbnail for the um <laughs> chilla link for the chill the Overwatch porn. Overwatch's oh no! Its very own Pornhub Overwatch hentai. It's it's a butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>